So Cassie, thank you for joining me here today at the Applied AI Summit in San Francisco. Thank you for having me. So Cassie, give us quickly, introduce yourself and what is your current role in AI marketing at SAS? Yeah, so Cassie Letterman, uh, global go-to-market lead for SAS. Uh, working in AI marketing um, is a really fun time at SAS and really in the market in general. And so my role there is focused on a mixture of kind of gaining visibility for SAS in this very highly competitive, saturated market. Uh, but also helping nurture our prospects and customers as they progress through our customer journey um, and how they engage with us as a company. So that's kind of my day-to-day -day focus. It's a little bit of that mind share and market share perspective um, in, within marketing. So how did you start working within the AI area and what initially drew you to it? Yeah, so with AI, um, you know, they're, they're now coining it the fourth industrial revolution. Yeah. Um, so for me, I just wanted to be a part of it. And I wanted to find a way to evolve with technology. And so it's just a movement of it and the shifting. Exactly. You evolve yourself. Evolve myself mm -hmm. and my profession and what I'm trying to progress individually as a contributor, but also to be a part of an organization that's also evolving with the times. And so for us, we started with analytics back in the 70s, and we had machine learning capabilities then, but we've also enhanced those capabilities. And, and now we're just kind of putting a different uh, term on something that is really advanced analytics for us. And so we have those capabilities in computer vision and natural language processing, and, and it expands beyond just kind of the traditional machine learning tactics we did in the 70s. And so it's fun to put that marketing angle on it and be a part of the technology and the growth. Yeah. yeah. So SAS recently announced that you're making a $1 billion investment yeah. in AI, lots of money. Sure is. Over the next three years. Yeah. So it's really exciting. So tell me a bit more about what this is, what are the main areas that you'll be focusing on? Yeah, so SAS, like you said, is making a tremendous investment in AI. Um, so it's, it's primarily in kind of two buckets. So one being um, education and the other being R&D. So with R&D, we've been um, historically contributing about 30% back into uh, of our rev annual revenue back into the business, specifically into R&D and advancing our products and solutions. And so now this is just additional funds to go towards that. So it's gonna take shape and not just the investment in the technology itself, and um, increase, increasing our functionality and the features within some of those capabilities I mentioned earlier of like natural language processing. Yep, exactly. Um, but it's also in the people, the people resource in the technology and, and gaining those skills and then kind of through education, both in the internal education, but also externally, kind of offering free courses, um, helping companies gain a, adoption of AI in their businesses. So um, it's mainly taking shape in education and then the technology itself. I feel like that's one thing that's kind of missing. People just need to know what's happening, how to use it, how to apply it properly as well, and if not ethically speaking. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've previously teamed up with other companies working heavily in AI. Is yeah. this something you plan on continuing? What are some of the benefits of working with these companies? Yeah, so absolutely. We, uh, we have a huge partner ecosystem and we rely on our partners, particularly in some of these emerging topics like AI and IoT. Um, oftentimes in order to kind of complete this, the solution for that our customers are looking for, it requires that partner collaboration. You know, in the case of like an Intel, um, you need the, the hardware component and the software component, right? So, Absolutely. So um, we have a, a very strong partner ecosystem and we are constantly adding to it and we leverage them both from the product standpoint and the marketing standpoint. So um, there's a lot of co-opetition that's taking place within the tech industry these days and um, we view it to be a, a huge strategic lever, particularly in the marketing side, that we can pull to gain additional visibility in the market um, and help kind of bridge any gaps that might exist around awareness. So what other industries at SAS are you passionate about being disrupted by AI? Yeah, so so SAS um, has a, a lot of our business or a, a good chunk of our business is coming from the financial services space. I mean, that's a space that we've worked in for so long and we've partnered with a lot of you know large banks out there. Um, and so we'll continue to see a lot of adoption in um, that financial services industry. Um, I think for me personally, you know, we've seen a lot of pickup in manufacturing. I think manufacturing is one of those industries that has saw a lot of quick wins with AI early. Um, but I'm personally passionate about the healthcare space. There's so much you can do with the healthcare space. 
Absolutely. So, um, you know, we're seeing a lot around image detection, a lot of computer vision being used. There's so much greenfield opportunity when it comes to healthcare, and I think that's where we're going to see the biggest impact as you know humans in this society, and that personal impact it's going to have on us. Um, and then within government, we're already doing some really cool things to counter human trafficking. You know, we just introduced an AI framework to that, to work um, to you know fight the opioid crisis and, and put tools and systems in place. So we have a lot of partnerships there and uh, nonprofits we're working with. So kind of that data for good put it component. Hand in hand together. Yeah, I feel like you need to do industry and businesses and also look at the social implications mm -hmm. that come with AI. Yes. So do you think it's important to have a diverse workforce and what do you think can be done to encourage more diverse backgrounds in AI because at the end of the day it's quite necessary to have a broad spectrum of opinions and backgrounds in it? Yeah, so um, at SAS we have a lot of diversity um, available or diversity and inclusion programs available to us as individuals and employees there. I personally have some opinions on the subject as well, but from a SAS standpoint, I mean, we have a diversity inclusion program, we have global respect at work training available to contributors. I mean, we're, we have so many examples I could share. Um, another one that I was just reading about that we're working on internally is um, an internship for, um, for folks with autism where we're mentoring not just the, um, the persons with autism, but also the SAS managers that are working with them so it's a very um, collaborative relationship in that respect and we're um, we're really proud of that initiative um, for me personally um, I think that this is a really important subject for us to be addressing um, I, I want to see us as you know the parents of the world the educators of the world and then the organizations really kind of own the importance of um, empowering people um, from all sorts of different backgrounds and particularly women to um, to follow their passions and not feel constrained and I really now you know working um, on the corporate side I think it's so important for the organizations to really empower the um, our up-and-coming youth and then um, the the women that are succeeding yeah. and propelling within just the companies. Everyone within with diverse backgrounds just to get them in, involved. Yeah, absolutely. So what have you enjoyed most about the event so far over the last two days? Yeah, so this event, um, this is our first time sponsoring it um, and it has, it has exceeded my expectations from uh, all, all facets really. So the amount of great conversation that we're having both in the booth and through uh, the session we had here, there's a lot of people that are really experimenting with AI and, and have really good questions and um, people are coming here ready to dive right in and there's a lot of collaboration and just folks talking kind of across functions and so I like the community feel that this event offers so, um, so so far so good. Well thank you so much for joining us here at the event today Cassie and also for here we wouldn't be able to do it without you. Yes thank you for having Thanks me. So much.